had fanaticism properly. He's he's got it on this forward sector now, but if he had had it properly then he probably would have taken Brahman's base. This turn we're gonna do. Brahman hasn't got time right now. <laughs> it's uh, making this way around, probably will if Brahman doesn't see it blow up this depot, but there's not much left in there anyway. Um now there are still 11 minutes 45 seconds left so if I were a sniper I would set up another depot right now and look at that on cue as if by magic as if I'm watching this game live or something like that uh, yeah yeah so that's uh, rush has been completely repelled and Brahmin again in the lead sorry I haven't been keeping check of the score very much hopefully Brahmin sees this little infantry over here He's brought his air recon back, so I don't see any reason why not. Um, and yeah, Brahman's on a minor victory at the moment. Um, right, yeah, that, that thing's going down. Stir, surprise attacks. That was a mistake by Brahman. He brought his air recon away. He didn't think... Uh, uh oh. <laughs> um, now I can't see in the middle. But... Uh, the... I mean, he lost a few points, but it's not that much. In a 1v1, though, it hurts a lot more than in any other game to lose units. Of course, because you're on your own. Now the snipers realize that Brahmin's... Snipers realize that Brahmin's realized that what he needs is an air force. So, snipers built plenty of AA. See, this is, he must have had quite a bit of money stocked up. He built an extra depot. He built, uh, so that's 40, he built artillery anti-air base, 45, and he built 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 AA guns, that's 60. So he built 140 odd dollars worth of stuff there. And another truck coming out. Probably a rebuild for this depot. It takes 5 hurricanes to kill a depot like that, useful to know, because uh, when they're not defended by AA, then, you know, it's definitely worth going for. So, the depot situation now. Brahman's expanded again. He's still got three. This one's about to go, though, but, um... That's two left for Brahman, and two left for Sniper, but two much less... much more depleted ones. Again, Brahman's captured this. Wow, wow. That British infantry production. How many barracks has he got at home? Yeah, he's built an extra barracks for production. Exactly. That's how he was able to build that infantry so fast. Um, just in case he didn't know, more bases equals more production. Uh, sniper choose research the uh, pack 40. It's very fast research, cheap as well, 25. But then the units themselves cost 15, so it makes up for it. Like it, it's a, it's a nice change. Uh. And they are definitely going to scare away any British tank. Right there, one shutting the Vickers. That's a proper AT gun. So now Brahman has got the lead, so he doesn't really need to attack. It's Sniper that needs to take the points in these last eight minutes, thirty seconds here coming up. And I'm sure Sniper knows that not sni well, Sniper and Brahman both know that they have extremely weak AA in the middle. Uh, on the right side, oh, sorry, on the right side according to our point of view. Um, no, Sniper's, he, he's done what he more or less had to do and rebuild this supply depot, but it's probably going to go down, unfortunately, but he does need money. Brown's built another, sorry, Brown's built another supply depot, so he's used all the ones on his side of the map, and he's on four right now. Now uh, that one's just out there now. Um, but uh, this is a lost game at this point, unfortunately, for Sniper. He's got no money left. He built a secondary here. Not really sure why. He he did. He probably wanted the money in this area and to control it better. Um, but he's going to lose this depot now, putting Brahman further in the lead. Um, Brahman could just push up a couple of tanks and take out these... Machine gun, that's, uh, he probably just thinks, though, that the Hurricanes do a better job. <laughs> um, there we go. So the Machine Gun Nests are down. 
Wow, see see how those machine guns rip off infantry? They they didn't get to the, the depot there. The infantry will get it once they recharge the so he surrenders. There's nothing left to do. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good game. There's a little bit of back and forth there. Uh, Cauldron is the map, by the way. Didn't even mention that, but, uh... So, yeah. Uh... Ramen called the file. Vidcast this game. So he obviously was very... Thought it was a very good game. And, um... Uh, yeah, it was, uh... Liked it. Um... Now, the incomes... It's actually, it's quite close, but Brahmin's got roughly 200 more, which is going to make a bit of difference. So, I, I thought it would have been more than that, but, um... No. <laughs> uh... So, let's see the kills here, yeah. Um, the infantry did a lot of the fighting in that game. Uh... And... Brahmin's planes did quite a bit of damage, too. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed that game. Um... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> 18.55 ores per minute. That's a lot for Ruse, usually. At least for me, I usually get an average of, uh, I don't know, 10? Less, if it's a bigger game. But maybe I'm just slow, you know, because I'm called Swift and everything. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to bring you more exciting games. Later.